the Sunan of the Fitra, innate disposition, includes 1. Circumcision, cutting the skin that covers the glands, i.e. the head of the male private part, so that dirt does not collect in it. He can clean himself from urine. This is obligatory upon men and a sunnah for women who need it. 2. Trimming the mustache. 3. Clipping the nails. 4. Plucking the armpit hair. and 5. Shaving pubic hair. Clipping the nails means cutting them because leaving them causes dirt to accumulate underneath. Plucking the armpit is removing the hair that grows in the armpit regardless of whether it is removed by plucking, shaving, or other means. This is done due to the cleanliness and lack of stench that comes with removing them. The pubic hair is the hair that grows around the front private part and it can be removed without shaving by using hair removal products for example, on the authority of Anas radiallahu anhu, may Allah be pleased with him, a time limit has been prescribed for us for clipping the mustache, cutting the nails, plucking the hair under the armpit, and shaving the pubes, that it should not be neglected for more than 40 nights, narrated by Muslim, hence you shouldn't delay these things past 40 nights. Number 6. Letting the beard grow. The ruling of letting it grow is obligatory. Shaving it is one of the major sins. 7. A siwak, using the branch of al-araq, a type of tree, and the like to clean the teeth, and its ruling is that it is sunnah. Additionally, it is a sunnah at all times, but is emphasis when performing wudu, at the time of salah, when entering the house, reading Quran, getting up from sleep, at the time of death, and when the mouth smells change. 8. Performing istinshaq with water, which is breathing in water through the nose. 9. Washing the barajim. 10. al intiqas of water. al barajim are the joints of the fingers and intiqas of the water is al istinja The evidence for this is the hadith of Aisha radiallahu anha, may Allah be pleased with her, in the sahih of Imam Muslim.